Hello, people of the internet. I have some more Prisonus stuff for you. So, just today I uh, got another one of these Prisonus Firewire uh, recording interfaces. This one is a FirePod. Uh, I do have a, a Fire Studio 2626. I know that works with Linux, but I have no idea whether the FirePod will work with Linux. I tried searching net, but I got a little bit mixed results, and you know the first kind of links that I got were pretty old. I mean, several years old, and and these things tend to develop. I mean, the drivers. I'm going to set up uh, a system with the FirePod, and then I have a known good FireWire cable. This is the model where uh, on one end you have the the big connector, and on the other end you have the small connector, and this is for laptops. And not very surprisingly, I have a laptop which has Ubuntu Studio installed in it. Um, this is a somewhat old laptop. This is from the year, I would say, 2008 or something like that. There's nothing wrong with this machine. The only modification that I made was that I threw away the old uh, hard disk drive and uh, swapped that with a solid state drive. And this works like charm. Let's hook this up and see what happens. Fiber test one. Now at this stage, um, I also better input something here. Let's put it to channel one. Now I'm going to turn the fire pot on. And let's see whether it will uh, sync with the machine. Okay, cool. At least I think this means you, we have the blue... No, we have the red light. Okay, open. Um, what do I have here? I have a fire pot here. That's... okay. Let's see what it does. We have a blue light. That's a good sign. Hey, how are we doing? Well, it seems we get a signal in. One, 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 one. I'm just gonna, just gonna go and take channel number eight. Um, and so, channel eight. One, 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 one. This seems to work. Well, let's see what happens when I record something. I'm going to record something to channel number one. Recording something to channel one. One, one, one. Channel one. Channel one. One, one. Okay, let's try to play this back. But um, uh, for that I have to install, uh, not headphones, this is the headphone output jack here. I'm gonna input just these terrible shit boxes, but it should be outputting it from here. So let's see what happens. Recording something to channel one. One, one, one. Channel one. Chan okay, seems to work with Linux. Let's take the uh, Ardor again. Okay, and uh, we are gonna open a new session. Uh, which is going to be a recording session and uh, I'm going to open it and so now it will tell me that I have uh, FirePod here, audio system is also, I could also use Jack and uh, input channels and output channels, everything that this will output. Now when I start this uh, I think this will turn blue, let's see it, the behavior of this is a little bit different than in the, in the 2626, so let's see let's hit start 
this will go blue and uh, let's see what happens and now we have everything here all right and uh, so now I have all the tracks recording and I'm gonna put the master record here okay and when I press play it will start recording and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from each of the channels so we get some kind of signal to each of the channels and you know let's see what happens when we try to play it back okay channel one channel one channel two channel two Okay, let's see what happens when we play it back. Channel one, channel one. All right, that's that. I have verified that all of the channels work, you know. And as a conclusion, I can verify that a Presonus FirePod will work with Linux. Based on these few very initial tests, I mean, everything works very well. This is a known good laptop, and it means that the FireWire chip and circuit that is in this computer is good. Uh, but it seems to be that Linux system is a little bit picky on, on these FireWire chips. There are different kind of FireWire chips, and you need to have the right one. I, I've also tried uh, with a little bit newer uh, laptop than this one, which also had a FireWire input. Uh, I installed U Ubuntu Linux uh, and found that uh, the FireWire just doesn't work in that. It just doesn't. Uh, and most likely the reason is that uh, the FireWire chip is not the right kind. It's the same thing if you uh, use uh, Linux recording with a desktop computer. Uh, there you need to have a PCI card, which means that you probably need to have a little bit older tower. PCI Express is probably a source of all kinds of trouble. You can tell the difference between a PCI and a PCI Express card uh, just by looking at the knob, this connector here. This is what will uh, plug into the motherboard. This is a long one, so this is a PCI one. PCI Express will have only a small stub like this one here. Then there's the other thing. The chip that this uh, card has, it's a VIA. It says VT6306. Here's another one. I think these are the ones which I bought secondhand. This is also a VIA and this is a VT6306 and what was the other one? Uh, and VT6306. And I think these, these cards I've used, I'm 100% sure that I've used one of them. Uh, and uh, I bought them for 10 euros or something. But it requires that your desktop computer has a PCI bus. One other thing, um, as, as we saw, this will work in, in Linux just, you know, basically out of the box. Um, if you go to Personas' website, you can find there that you can uh, download uh, installers for Mac, different versions of Mac, and also different versions of, of Windows. I mean, I have no idea what that software package has in it, whether it has some kind of a control software for this unit, but I don't think it actually does need that. I, I also went and downloaded the, the user manual uh, for the Fireport or FP10, as they call it, uh, um, but, uh, well, the first 15 pages are instructions of how to install different kind of Windows drivers from very long time ago, so, you know, uh, that's not very uh, interesting. And uh, then from page 15 to page 22, you have some actual information of, you know, what the knobs mean and the inputs and outputs and blah, 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 and what to do. Basically nothing really interesting here. And this doesn't give you the picture that there would be a control software. So I don't know whether there is, but as far as this works, just out of the box, you know, and it can use the, the Linux Firewire drivers, I, I'm happy with it. And this is exactly how it turned out to be. And hello, it's a couple of days later and uh, I tried to use the FirePod uh, in a band rehearsal where we input signal here and tried to use the direct outs but uh, uh, the unit wasn't exactly working the way 
we expected it to. And the other thing is that it only agreed to do 44.1 kilohertz a capture frequency and I was trying to do 48 uh, and it didn't work. Well anyway it seems to be that we actually need to download uh, a control software for, for the FirePod and this is what I did for the iMac. I went to Presonus's website and downloaded the uh, operating system version specific uh, control or, or the installer software that I could. I think I installed it in here and let's see what is going to happen next. What if I'm going to update the firmware? I have no idea what this does but but um, okay let's go and update the firmware. Oh erasing flash please do something to unerase it install something also. Okay I think I think we are supposed to be happy with this. Let's see now the uh, FP10 control. What's this then? No device. I think there should be a device. So as far as I can see there is only two programs here. Uh, this is the uh, firmware update which I did and then there's the FP10 control. There seems to be a little bit problems with this. If I do the firmware update then this will not communicate with the Mac uh, any longer so I have to reboot the Mac and go back here and now when I do the FP10 control so the only thing that it is allowing me to do is is to see what is the sync source uh, in this unit and that'll be the uh, internal one one so anyway it seems I can't do anything else with the Mac and if I can't do it with Mac so you know that that's what it is so there really is no control software for this hello folks uh, it's once again a little bit later this time is actually uh, several weeks later um, there is one additional thing that I have to mention to you because there actually is no control software but the control software that you are able to use is actually in the computer. I didn't actually know that the, the Firewire uh, driver in Linux is able to command this uh, Presonus unit. This is by the way not, not a FirePod, this is something else but you know the outputs are the, e e exactly the same so that's why I'm just using this you know. But anyway uh, the thing what I learned was that when we uh, started to uh, to record with the FirePod, I didn't check the input and output uh, setup in the recording software. I should have done that because that is actually the one which is going to pretty much determine what is going to come out of these single uh, channel outputs that you have here and, and also the little bit of these out other outputs as, as well. But the only thing we wanted to use was the uh, per channel output or general purpose uh, output jacks here uh, and the idea was that uh, when we are recording the signal comes into the unit on the front side then it goes via the fire wire it goes to the laptop which is going to record it and okay while that is doing its thing we thought that uh, the signal would come straight in and straight out from these jacks but it turns out it's not really that simple and why we wanted to use these per channel outputs is that uh, if you have a let's see if you have a patch cable like this you know these are that that that's the type of jack that you're gonna need to have on this the idea is that you will input all the all the the, the plugs from channel 1 to channel 8 you will input and then on the other side this you will insert into your mixing console and so through the mixing console we could use all the stuff that is in the mixing console and we could have you know the monitoring in ear monitoring or other monitoring that we wanted you know the laptop was just going to record the signal and you know we would just take the signal out from here but I ran into a, a funny behavior because it seems that each and every channel was coming out of each and every of these jacks you know you have to fiddle around a little bit with your recording software but the input output matrix is there will determine what will come out of these these jacks here the other thing what we learned was that we were thinking that uh, the signal would come in and straight out but this is not exactly what will happen that that is the feature that is in in the fire fire studio model not the fire pot model but or fp10 but it's the fire studio 2626 at least that thing can you know direct output that signal so there is a zero latency but what this thing does is that actually the the signal comes into this and then it uh, takes the route from firewire to computer 
and then it comes back from firewire to uh, with firewire to this unit and then it comes out of the uh, out of the jacks then the problem is that there is going to be latency right it's going to take time for the signal to travel between the unit and the computer nothing you can do about it but I was able to set the latency if you fiddle around with your recording software I was able to set the latency so low that it virtually does not bother us uh, it's like a little bit of bit of an echo but but it doesn't mess things up Okay, folks. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.